Hold up, everyone. Let me make sure this is working. I'm having some tech difficulties right now. I think I'm live on YouTube, but my dashboard right now is giving me some trouble. So let me just figure this out. Looks like YouTube is lagging, but I'm live on Twitter. Interesting. Yeah, we're live. All right, welcome everybody to the live stream. I don't I don't know if YouTube is even working right now, but I see that I'm live on X. All right, now it looks like YouTube is working. Cool. Welcome everybody to another Crypto Empire Sunday live stream. And it's a very special day. Why is that? Well, it's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to everybody out there. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. And uh, with that being said, I mean, listen, we got a lot to cover today. We are about to enter into the parabolic phase of this crypto bull run. Let me know right now if you can... In the YouTube chat, let me know if you can see and hear me because my system is super glitchy. I'm using some new streaming software, trying to get fancy with my my tech and I'm still learning how to use it basically. So just let me know if you can see and hear me on YouTube. I think Twitter or X is completely fine. But before I really dig into this live stream and what I want to talk about, I just want to make sure that this gets recorded and you guys see it and I don't just talk to myself for an hour straight, which I have done in the past. I haven't done it recently, but like, a year or two ago, I had a few live streams where I literally talked to myself for like 30 minutes before I realized that I wasn't even live. So just let me know right now if I'm live and then we can get started. It'd be nice if you guys would let me know in the YouTube live chat right now so that I can get started. Ah, oh, this is such a pain, man. <laughs> what a pain. All right, yeah, I see myself on YouTube. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Green light. Listen, my system is buggy right now, guys, so I appreciate your patience. Anyways, let's get into this live stream. All right, so what are we gonna start, what are we gonna start off talking about? Obviously, Bitcoin. We are right at the cusp of the halving. We are 19 days away, basically just less than three weeks now. So a lot of people are nervous. They're like, oh, this is gonna be the left translated cycle, and we've already made a new all-time high before the halving. What if we peaked out? What if the top is already in? If you think that, this live stream is not for you because I'm a bull. I'm a crypto bull. And I'm expecting ra rapid expansion to the upside. In Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, the big three, meme coins are going to continue to explode. And then as well are fundamentally Fundamentally solid altcoins, basically just meme coins with a better brand attached to them at this point. That's what we're realizing now in this market is everything is a meme coin. Your AI coins, your gaming coins, literally all they are is they, they make a website and they launch a token. And, and in a lot of cases, it's an ERC-20 token and they say we're building this AI protocol. It might as well be a meme coin. Nobody's using this AI yet. This is just... This market is irrational and it allows you to profit insane multiples in a sh very short amount of time. So just take it for what it is and do not marry any of your bags. That is super important. Obviously, you have your higher conviction picks, but if you think that it's something special and amazing and it's just the best thing ever, right? That's the completely wrong mindset to have because there will come a point in time where you have to sell it and you have to realize your profits. All right, so just do not marry your bags. And if you look at everything on the market, all 13,538 of these different cryptocurrencies as what they are in reality, besides Bitcoin, they're basically all memes, all right? So that's really what I'm starting to realize more and more as we delve deeper into this altcoin cycle and this overall crypto market cycle. Now, like I said, we're about to enter into the expansion phase. Uh, Halum Pad, do Easter giveaway, you are banned. You don't tell me when to do a giveaway. I'll do a giveaway when I want to. All right. Let's go ahead and ban this guy from my um, my live stream. See you later, buddy. Don't annoy me or you'll get the boot. Anyways, taking a look at BTC right now in the 12-hour time frame, we are bull flagging above a very key level at 68.5K. We are putting in a very solid bull flag right here. And here's the thing. The halving at this point, 
people make a big fuss about it. Oh, it's the Bitcoin halving. It happens every four years. It's already priced in. The market prices in things well in advance. All right, it's 19 days away. The halving is already priced in. So there's two scenarios that I see playing out here. Either we have an effect of what we had with the Bitcoin spot ETF in January when it got approved. And we can just go back in time so that I can show you what I'm talking about. Back when we were all the way at $44,000, the Bitcoin spot ETF got approved. We broke out of this range we were trading in, but we got rejected. Then we deviated the range lows and then we pumped. All right, it was a big fake out. Now there is this scenario that the halving will be something similar, all right? I'm not counting it out, especially because we are now back in a kind of a similar range with our range high at $73,000. So one scenario that I'm looking for this is all just kind of speculation, keep that in mind. But one scenario that I'm looking for is we have the halving and we break out, but then we reject. We reject and we kind of chop chop around, consolidate, go ahead and test some lower levels, fake some people out, and then we pump. That would be a replication of the scenario that happened back in January when the Bitcoin spot ETF got approved. The other option, which I put more favor that this will happen, is that we simply just break out and we enter into the parabolic phase of the run and we see Bitcoin go to around eighty to ninety thousand dollars. From there, I would expect some kind of uh, pullback, but uh, yeah, I, I'm a bull right now and I'm expecting a run up to around eighty to ninety k here, either in April or May. And um, with that being said, all coins are going to rip. rip. All coins are really going to see a ton of liquidity flow into them, as we've been seeing when Bitcoin moves up. A lot of altcoins tend to outperform Bitcoin. <coughs> so again, I'm a bull. I'm a hardcore bull. And I'm expecting higher prices here leading into the halving. Or maybe we go into a slightly slow period for around one to two weeks. And then we pump. But it's certainly the time to be positioned, right? If you're not, if you have cash on the side, now not financial advice, now is the time to deploy that cash and to put it to use. Because listen, we are deep in the bull run, right? The, the cycle is not just starting right now. The cycle has been underway since 2023. We are deep into this crypto bull run, whether you want to hear that or not. I know a lot of people are just coming back into the market right now because they see everybody else making money and they're like, I want to get a piece of the pie too. And that's what creates an actual bull market. People being more and more aggressive with their money, taking on bigger risks just buying 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 continuing to drive prices higher fear of missing out that's what leads to these parabolic runs in the crypto market so to all you people just joining now just understand that we're pretty deep into the cycle right now and there's still a lot of money to be made but the hard work was buying say six months ago in in january right when i put out that free ebook that's up 500 percent and that will turn into millions of dollars right that was the time to really be kind of taking your positions for the easy ride it's not necessarily that much of an easy ride anymore with all these coins. If you pick the winners, you will have an easy ride. But if you're just getting started in the market right now, you're late. You're, you're straight up late. But there's still going to be many, many opportunities for you to go ahead and, and seriously bank some coin here. But no more easy days, right? No more buying things at their lows anymore. If a new project is launching, this, the thing gets bought up on the first day and sends like 50x on the first day. So just keep that in mind if you think you're early right now. You are not early in any way, shape, or form. Now going ahead and moving on, we have to talk about meme coins because they are the hottest, they are the best performing and the hottest assets in the market. Now base meme coins have been really, really hot. There's this one dig that I'll talk about today. Me and my Discord were buying this one up, uh, but I think this one is a lot higher to go. But in regards to some recent wins we've had. So first of all, we have Andy on Blast over here. It's currently at a $40.6 million market cap. Well, inside of the Crypto Empire Premium Discord, we bought this Saturday, March 16th at a $2.74 million market cap. All right. So this is basically up. If you didn't take any profits, it's basically up 20x. Right. If you took out, say, your initial at some point and then you're not up a clean 20 X, but you're still up huge. I know I'm up huge. I know many members in the discord are up huge. This is in two weeks, right? 
huge five-figure profits, some people six-figure profits in literally two weeks. And this is like this is not something uncommon right now that's happening. A lot of these memes are ripping 20x, 30x, 50x, 100x in a few days, a few weeks. All right, so one recent win here with Andy. Huge, huge, huge win, right? One Ethereum turns into 20 Ethereum if you held it until now. And with that being said, like I've been saying over the past few weeks, uh, the option to get into the Discord, join the waitlist if you want to join the Discord, but the option to pay $147 a month is gone and it will not be coming back. If you want to join, I will never DM you first. I have like thousands of people impersonating me with fake accounts. They'll switch one character of my username and message everybody in my free Telegram group and my, uh, my free Discord, right? That is not me and I will never DM you first and I will never ask you for thousands of dollars over the DM to like, help with your trading or something like that. If you fall for that, I cannot help you, right? I expect the people that follow me to not be NPCs and, and to not fall for these really low level scams. So please understand the only service that I offer is my Discord group. If you do want to join that, you go to the link in the description down below, wap.com slash crypto empire, and you can join the wait list. All right. It's not open right now for anybody to join, but you can go ahead and join the wait list. The time to get in for a rock bottom low price is gone. Just like in the crypto market, you buy an altcoin early, it explodes in value. Well, if you trusted me and you got into my Discord early, well, then you're locked in at that low price. But the uh, the order is changing around here, especially as we get deeper into the cycle. Listen, I, I've been here for I haven't left. Right. I've been here the entire bear market. And, and I just don't necessarily want to work with people that aren't serious anymore. All right. So, yeah, enough of that. Not a big deal. But that's it. That's the story. Anyways, Andy, we smashed it. Now, dig some base memes we've been playing recently. So base Bridget, we bought this one on March 15th at a 25K market cap. I mean, the thing is down, getting wrecked right now, I believe. Let's see how Bridget is doing. 100K mark, it's still up 4X, right? We were like super early into this one. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure about this right now, but initial was secured, but yeah, this turned into basically nothing, which can happen. Now, Brett is at an $800 million market cap. I've been making some videos about Brett. Showed you how to buy it two days ago and in, in this video over here. Where is it? This video over here, 10 days ago. I showed you how to buy bread and I said I would be giving that bread away. And I will indeed give that bread away. This is the wallet that I bought it with. I put in like 150 bucks, it's worth $400 right now. If bread goes to say 10 billion, which I think it will. Same with something like Andy. I, I think Andy on blast will go to billions just like Brett, just like Pepe. And then Wolf on AVAX is the completion of that quadrilogy, right? Matt Fury's Boys Club. That's the new meta in memes, all, all these characters. And Brett is leading right now in terms of the beta to Pepe. And then there's also Andy and, and Wolf. Anyways, Brett, I'll be giving this away. Toshi, I'll also be giving this Toshi away, like I, si like I said. And I did buy some dig in this wallet. I put in 0 0.02 ETH. And anyways, I'm going to, in I'm going to make the giveaway even bigger, okay? Because I am bullish on Dig, and I think this one's going to do well. So what we're going to do right now, live on stream, this thing's up 183%, ridiculous. But I planned on doing this, so I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to buy $1,000 worth of Dig, and I'll be giving this away at a later date when it hopefully is much higher in value. Yes, you heard that correct, ladies and gentlemen. I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and uh, this is all going to go for the giveaway. So to that guy who was asking for the Easter giveaway, it was already planned. It literally was already planned, but your impatience got you in trouble. All right, so let that be a lesson for everybody. All right, we'll buy 0 0.28 ETH, not financial advice. I'm literally doing this to give back to all of you guys for the community and because I'm extremely bullish on this coin. I wish I did this two hours ago or, or like eight hours ago when it was down here, but the idea here is that it's going to make a new all-time high past this 0 0.002 cent level and go to like millions, at least like 5, 10 million market cap. And then we'll do the giveaway. Uh, but yeah, this thing is a few days old and I, like the, all these other stupid memes are taking off on base. And I think this one is, is going to as well dig do doging glasses. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if you guys front ran me. 
not financial advice. Do your own research. I'm literally doing this for to give back to you guys. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Poof, gone. Thousand dollars into the ether. And uh, if you got, if you want to find out how to enter into this giveaway, you have to be following me on X. There we see swap success right there. Yeah, we're gonna give away some dig when it hits like a five to a ten million dollar market cap. Not financial advice, but uh, yeah, I think this one's gonna fly. And um, yeah, I mean, I got my Discord into this at like a hundred thousand dollar market cap. So everybody in the Discord should be up at least a few X's. Anyways, that's the meme coin market. It's it's insane. It's really kind of silly, but there's real money being made. I'm a prime living example of that. Many people in the group are a prime living example of that. Many people watching this live stream are also active market participants in the arena, making money from memes. It's very real. I know a lot of people are scared to touch them. A lot of people have this ego that they only want to touch the fundamentally solid coins. That's fine, but um, I, I guess more gains for us. Obviously, there's a ton of risk involved. I don't hit every meme I call. I'll show you my track record over the past few weeks in 2024. Uh, Big Mike 100x, one cat 20%. These are all kind of really high risk plays that I take. Can do Inu, hit a 2x. Got wrecked on UniTow. I got wrecked on Fat Cat on Solana. Hit over a 10x on Bridget. Andy is now like a 20x. <clears throat> and then Dig is now like a 5x. All right, so the winners are definitely covering all the losers. <coughs> <clears throat> And we will continue to play these. Now let's get serious and talk about our fundamentally solid meme coins, aka altcoins. So ETH this cycle, my price prediction $10,000 for Ethereum. So if you want a very kind of stress-free way to go ahead and play this cycle, you want to buy the two highest beta altcoins to Bitcoin, and those are Ethereum and Solana. Ethereum to 10K, I'm fairly confident will happen this cycle. Now, if you look at this, we have not breached the all time high from the last cycle at 4,800 bucks yet. This is the weekly time frame. We are getting there though. All right, we're at this very key level at 4K. This is the 2022 high price as well, by the way. So, what we're looking for on ETH, if we drop this down to the lower time frames, I mean, it's quite simple what we're, what we're looking for. Go to the four hour. So on our four hour, we're hugging our EMAs and we're pumping out of them after this kind of consolidation, reaccumulation. Re so this looks bullish and we just have to take out these highs now at $3,600, $3,700. Once we clear those highs, we essentially will be attacking the all time high. Right, we're very close here on ETH. 30% away. And once ETH starts making new all-time highs, imagine what's going to happen to all the really high-risk beta assets, aka meme coins on Ethereum. They're going to explode. Now Solana as well. Um, Solana this cycle, I can see like six to 800 bucks. And right now it's at 200. So you're looking at like another three to four X on Solana, which is already at like a $60 billion market cap. All right. I think in April... We are going to see a, a good month for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. I think we're going to see a lot of green in the market in April. Now, in terms of AI, AI is in a very slow period right now. If you look at our AI watch list over here on TradingView, mostly everything is red except for a few outliers. Right, Tau and Render, two largest AI coins in the market. There's some guy who is trying to like write hit pieces about Tau and say it's completely useless and vaporware and all this stuff causing FUD on X. And he's basically been refuted at this moment in time. But Tau over here, right at the 12 hour, 200 EMA at 500 bucks. If we go to the daily, right? The prime area that I would like to see, we're bouncing right now from the daily 100 simple moving average at 468. Anyways, what I would like to see if we're gonna go down lower on Tau is right into this patch of price action at around $375 on Tau. If you see this, it will be an amazing buy opportunity and you most likely will be able to get minimum minimum a 10X if we go down below 400 bucks. Most likely you'll see a 20X plus on Tau. 
right? If you can buy it below $400 to the peak of this cycle, right? Tau will go to, to multiple thousands of dollars per coin. And I am very bullish on Tau still. Render, same story, very bullish on Render. Render and Tau have been my two of the largest positions in my portfolio going back the last eight months. And they haven't gone up 100x, but they've both gone up um, you know, 10x plus. And I put bigger, a size bigger into them. So it worked out. Could have played it better, but I'm very happy with the results. And I'm very happy with the position that I'm currently in because of the actions that I made eight months ago, six months ago, right? Paid off. Now, OXO, this is going to four to $6, like I've been telling you for the past six months. Congrats to everybody who's up now on OXO. Yeah, I mean, I, I just held my conviction the entire time. I know a lot of people kind of uh, puked their position and sold it. This is an important lesson. A lot of people just sold and gave up on their position before the big move happened, before this double bottom got put on, put in on OXO. Um, and that's just a lack of conviction, right? Maybe their idea was, oh, we're not going to drop below like a 100 mil market cap at 10 cents. And then we had a few daily candle closes below the level and they're like, all right, I'm out. This thing's gonna break down. Guess what? We pump like six, seven X from that level. Nothing was going to get me to sell my OXO in this range, right? I was convinced it was going to break out and it broke out. Now this is the, the mindset problem most of you have, right? You think you have this thesis or conviction in your head, but the second the pressure is put on you, you fold. You fold like a weak hand in a game of poker. Right, that's most of your guys' problem. You just lack conviction, you lack certainty, you lack the balls to actually see through a position, which is why you're probably not having the results that you want right now in this bull run. Because the opportunities are endless. Every single day there's a new coin going 50X on if you're trading live pairs on deck screen or like an ultimate degen. But there, even if you're not doing that and you're just playing fundamentally solid projects, there is literally endless opportunities every single day. So if you're the misor, you know, that meme passed around on crypto Twitter, the, the dork sitting behind this computer that thinks he knows everything, but he misses literally everything. If that's you, it's because you don't have any balls and you can't see through any trades or any investments and you're reliant on everybody else to get your information and you just don't believe in yourself, right? Believe in something, stand for something, take, take the risk and see it through. I was fully prepared to see my OXO go to zero, right? Let's not forget the most hate that I've ever gotten in my life. Sorry to go on a little tangent here about OXO, but this is important because most of you guys are just paper hands that lack all conviction, especially the newer people in this market. Let's see if I can find this. Anyways, the OXO short video that I made, I had never gotten that much hate hate comments in my life. And I was fully prepared to take the L and say that, all right, maybe I got this one wrong, but I stuck with my guns and now it's up 4.5X from entry. It was as high as over 5X from entry. And that's just because I believed. Nothing was gonna make me change my mind unless the buy was compromised, but there was nothing to say that the buy was compromised. So it was just a little important lesson for all the paper hands out there, right? The people that don't believe in themselves and then just, are you still holding this coin? Thoughts on this coin? Thoughts on OXO? Should we still hold it? If, you, if you're constantly that guy, like work on yourself and fix your mindset. Seriously. Because you will make a lot more money in this market. <clears throat> now, Argo Coin AGC, another AI coin that I've been holding. I am bullish on this one. Market cap is still very low. Market cap right now is just above, it's around 45 million. This one can go to 1 billion. I expect it to go honestly to like three to 5 billion. So I think this has 100X potential and I'm sized accordingly for that, right? What does that mean 100X potential? It means if you put $10,000 into it, it will turn into $1 million if it does go 100X, All right? So crypto is a game of sizing. You can, you can have 100 different coins and put a thousand bucks into each of them or you can have like four coins and put 25K into each of them. Guess which portfolio is gonna outperform? Probably the one where you pick four coins and you load up the size, right? Size, this is a game of sizing. Crypto is a game of sizing. Size accordingly to your conviction levels, all right? That's super important. 
if you're going in small and the coin you you went into small like did a big move but you only had a few hundred dollars into it what does it matter like that's not going to do anything for you you'll have some more internet magic internet bean money to to gamble with right if you actually want to cash out and like do cool things like buy your own house and go travel and live the life that you want you know you're not going to do that with a few 100 or you're not going to do that by investing $100 and making like 2000 from it on a 20x. You know, if you size accordingly and you put some money into it, not financial advice, but this is just what I'm doing. All I'm doing right now is sharing with you my strategies on how I'm playing this bull run. Right? If you size accordingly and you hit a 20x, then yeah, you can go ahead and change that will change your financial life. And this is what we've been doing, right? So just you have to size accordingly to the levels of your conviction. I do have asymmetric bets, which are smaller positions. But in my high conviction plays, I am sized accordingly so that I reap the rewards if I'm right. Right? I'm not in this to make like 10,000 bucks personally. You might be, and that's, that's completely fine because everybody is at a different level in their kind of financial journey, in their life. Right? But I'm past that point now, right? So I size accordingly to that. So wherever you're at, size accordingly to reach your goals. Otherwise, you're going to have a million different coins in your portfolio. You're going to have a f some dust money in each coin. And if they pump, you're, you're barely going to make anything. Like, what is that? That doesn't do anything for you. That doesn't change anything. So that's AI. A few AI coins I'm looking at. Now, gaming. Gaming is still primed up to pump big. It's still in consolidation. Going through this list, everything is still down. I'm not going to go through all these coins again like I did last week. Dual game GPT is looking really strong. Miria is a good buy right now. Sitting right on the EMAs, it's obvious. I don't think it will break down. I actually don't own any Miria personally. Now this is an interesting one, Lit Labs Games. So this is what's called a false breakdown. I've talked about this on live streams recently in the past a few weeks ago. A lot of times before a major big move, you'll see a technical breakdown of the market structure to make people think that it's not going to pump, to get them to capitulate and to get them to sell before they actually go ahead and send the coin much higher. And this is exactly what happened here on Lit Labs Games. Right? We're in this massive falling wedge pattern. We're right here sat on the daily 200 EMA, and then we have a hard sell off with a capitulation wick and a daily close beneath this key level. Most people puked their positions, they exited, they're like, oh, this thing's gonna break down and go lower. Now it's reclaiming and trying to go. All right, so this will happen a lot. It's happened a lot in the past. This is a pattern. My pattern recognition is kicking in. False breakdown, get everybody, all the non-believers to sell, then you pump it, all right? So lit, I don't own any lit, but I like that fake out, which makes me think it's gonna pump soon. Naka is a great buy after this sell-off. This was a Qcoin FUD sell-off. Naka doing a lot with mobile gaming. Mobile gaming is going to be like the biggest thing this cycle, or one of the biggest things this cycle. So Naka, after a really big pullback like this, like the best mobile gaming coin on the market basically, it's down 32% from the recent highs. It's a no-brainer. Prime, you guys should all be in this with me from three bucks. Shattered from the rooftops on YouTube to buy it below $3. And now it's at 21. So nothing to say here other than we're going to sell it much higher than the current price. And you still can hop in now, but just understand you might not see like the 30x that we're going to get. You might see like a 4x or a 5x. And what else is there with gaming? Uh, Corpo below a dollar is good. I really want to see this thing go to like 86 to 75 cents in this demand zone. Uh, but Corpo below $1 is good. This is one of the newer and better gaming studios on the market. So if you're looking for an actual solid gaming play that's new, it's exciting. They have a really nice um, battle royale shooter game, Citizens Conflict. If you're looking for something like that, and it's a studio, so they have other games too. But yeah, if we can see this like at 86 to 76 cents, I would love to, to really kind of uh, beef up the position here. I, I already do hold some of this, but... Again, I would love to see this at like 86 to 75 cents on Corpo. That would be awesome. I would be salivating at the mouth for something like that. And what else is there in gaming? A lot of 
options, but not all these options are created equally. I mean, if we look at the majors, majors are looking great, right? Axie, weekly, bear market range breakout, retest. Now we're about to close the week green. Same thing on sand and the same thing on mana. All right, look at this chart, guys. This is the same thing as the total three breaking out of the bear market accumulation range and then retesting and then it pumped like 200%. It's the same thing with these high cap gaming coins, which the money will trickle down into the low cap gaming coins. So you're, I'm telling you right now what's going to happen. And I haven't been perfect, but I've been pretty damn right on most things this cycle so far. So pay attention if you want to make, if you like making money, gaming's going to pump soon. So start getting into gaming coins if you don't own any. It's really a no-brainer right now. And yeah, I mean, that's... I'm not going to go through every individual coin on that watch list. Let's just keep covering charts, and I'm going to answer questions towards the end, so just bear with me. If you have questions, I will get to them, but I just want to cover what I want to cover first. Now, Bitcoin dominance. So, like we've been saying here, we're either going to get the move up to 60%, Right, this is a weekly chart. Notice how flat it is. Just holding above the weekly 200 EMA here, using it as support. But notice how flat this Bitcoin dominance weekly chart is. We're gonna have a move soon. And as of right now, this uptrend is still intact. Despite losing this trend line and then rejecting off of it, the uptrend is still intact. Right, this is definitely a precursor of what could happen here, i.e. a big breakdown on Bitcoin dominance. But the fact that we're still holding our, our weekly 200 EMA makes me believe that maybe we push up to 60% first. Regardless, meme coins are still gonna keep on outperforming Bitcoin and, and most of these other altcoins. Outlier altcoins will continue to outperform Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. So at this point in time, Bitcoin dominance is becoming less and less relevant, especially with the ETF. Because we have the money flowing, the money, the flows, the inflows from the ETF, and that money is locked in Bitcoin because they these people in their retirement accounts can't just sell it and start buying Doge and glasses on base, right? With that with that Bitcoin money they put in the ETF. No, they can't do that. So that money's kind of locked. Which kind of makes Bitcoin dominance not necessarily that important of a metric anymore. Right, you'll still have all the nerds on Twitter saying, oh, Bitcoin dominance is super important. Follow me because I know what I'm talking about, but it's it's really not that important. <clears throat> now, the dollar is slightly concerning. Dollar is slightly concerning if we pump back above this um, back above this level here. Right here at the 104, 105 level. Right, we may run this back up to like 106, 107. And again, that would just mean a temporary pause in risk on assets. Bitcoin stocks, all coins. <coughs> but if we do reject here on the dollar and the dollar drops below this 100 major support level on the weekly, we are full, like full on parabolic phase of the bull run. And we all should be really rich at that point. And then we can sell and go live our life. But yeah, the dollar right now, it's at a really critical level on the weekly, right? It's very obvious. All these critical levels. So we're going to see if we get a rejection or we get a reclaim. I would like to see a rejection, which means full bullishness for risk on assets. Regardless, I'm, I'm, I'm a full on bull right now anyway. Call me delusional, but I mean, listen, I'm convinced. I'm really, really convinced. Total three looks amazing. This is the altcoin market cap chart minus Bitcoin and Ethereum. It looks really good. It's doing exactly what we thought it would do. Again, that reference I just made to the total three talking about like Axie Infinity, Decentraland Mana, and Sandbox, right? When the total three broke out of the week or the bear market accumulation and retested, I was here saying that this is the retest to buy, like get into your altcoins. Now it pumped like 130%. The gaming coins, they look the exact same, the majors in gaming. So that's why I think gaming is going to pump very soon. I have actual kind of technical analysis. My thesis lies in the charts. I'm not just saying this because I think. I'm saying this because the charts are telling a story here. Right? The charts are telling us something. And the gaming charts have been down for the past four months now from really November. Right? They pumped in October, November, but they haven't necessarily moved much since. 
and the gaming charts are all shaping up to really move hard. So again, I'm not just pulling this out of thin air, right? You guys are seeing where I'm deriving my, my information from and where, why I'm saying what I'm saying. The charts are telling us a story, folks, ladies and gentlemen. So you can choose to ignore that story and come up with some idea in your head on why you think you're right and why gaming won't pump, or you can take the path of least resistance and understand what's actually happening and actually profit from the move, right? And stop being the misor, that meme that people make about you on crypto Twitter. Missing every opportunity, but you're online 12 hours a day. If that's you, something's got to change with your mindset. All right, so we covered a lot of the stuff that I want to cover. Let's open this up to the Q&A and uh, see what you folks have to ask me today. All right, let's see. Shout out to everybody in the live chat. Shout out to Raphael. We got DJ Stanley. We got Big Boy Crypto. What's up, Big Boy? Sly Cash from New York. What's going on, Sly? Gaston Cruz. David W. from Brooklyn. Black Sun. Leroy. All the usual, all the usual uh, regulars are here. It's awesome to see you guys. Shout out to Crypto Karma saying happy Easter, Connor. Thank you, Crypto Karma. Happy Easter to you as well. Shout out to Jazzy, my man Jazzy. Jazzy's a legend, guys. Jazzy, I have a lot of respect for somebody like Jazzy. He's been here all my live streams, one of my top supporters, always extremely positive and encouraging. He DMs me on Twitter all the time, Alpha. Jazzy, guys, you should follow him on Twitter because he's actually somebody that's, that knows what he's talking about and he's on it. He's on the market. Jazzy, three days old, he DM'd me about OPSEC. He's like, hey, legend, take a look at OPSEC, man. I think it's going to do great. It was three days old. Now, listen, I didn't buy it, but you have to give credit to the guy who told you about it. And that's Jazzy, man. He literally told me about OPSEC at three cents, this candle, three days old. All right. And it's now at $2.66, right? So, yeah, I mean, shout out to Jazzy. A lot of respect for him. He's a legend. He's a very solid person, and I'm grateful to have people like that in my community. And you guys should also go, go follow him on Twitter, too, because like I said, he actually knows what he's talking about in this world full of people that claim they know what they're talking about. Jazzy actually does know what he's talking about. So, Jazzy, thank you for OPSEC, my man. And, um, yeah, shout out to you. Happy Easter. If you do celebrate that holiday, I'm not sure, but happy Easter, right? Shout out to Brian from LA, Trucker Steve. Uh, am I bullish on AGC? Yes, I am. I just said I was bullish on AGC not too long ago. We got Bo Bob's my uncle, first time joiner. What's going on, Bob's my uncle? Good to have you here. Crypto Cobain putting on some gloves, some boxing gloves. Good to see you. Space Time Jim. And Jazzy says, how's Casper looking? Are you still bullish? And how will the legal issues with Qcoin affect the price? So Caspa, yes, I am still bullish on Caspa. Caspa is one of those altcoins where a lot of people think that it may have had its run already and it's not really going to perform too well anymore. Let's go to the logarithmic chart. Log chart looks extremely different from the regular chart. So Casper here, this is the big get chart, so it doesn't really give it too much justice. Let's go to the, let's go to this one. All right, so Casper on the log chart. It looks exactly like Bitcoin does on a log chart, right? The, that nice rounding curve on the upwards kind of channel. So my expectation for Casper it has been two to three dollars this market cycle, and I'm still bullish on that. I still think Caspa can go to two to three dollars this market cycle. I mean, if you look at this log chart ever since November, we haven't necessarily done anything. Right, we've just kind of been trading in this range from nine, eight, nine cents up to 18 cents. And we're just in this consolidation period. 
All right, but this asset is in a very strong uptrend. And it's one of the best fundamentally sound projects that can actually compare to something like Bitcoin, where it has, you know, a proof of work network. So energy is actually going to mine these coins. So the, that means that the network is actually backed by something. It's backed by all the energy that goes into mining the blocks for the network. That's why Bitcoin has value. That's why Litecoin has value. That's why Snow Blossom has value. You guys don't even know what S Snow Blossom is, but I think eventually you will as a quantum resistant uh, blockchain project. I think it could be a potential unicorn, but it also could turn into nothing. Anyways, all these proof of work coins, they have value because the energy that goes into them essentially backs up the value of the coin of the of the network. Caspa has many other additional technical benefits, which make it better than basically everything else, right? The blocks per second, uh, the way they're engineering smart contracts. So yeah, Caspa to one to two dollars, I mean, two to three dollars. That's my expectation for it. The Qcoin legal issues are a non event, they will pass over. I wouldn't be too concerned with that. Um, but yeah, Caspa is like, in my portfolio, Caspa is a safety net. And people might call that crazy because it's still a new high risk project, but I don't look at the market like you may look at the market. So yeah, Caspa is something like a safety net in my portfolio. And I'm expecting from this point on, you know, uh, let's see, two divided by 0 0.13489. I'm expecting like a 15x plus 15 20x from here on Caspa. Crypto Karma says, how about we talk about IXS? It's the Uniswap of real world assets. They have the most amount of regulations and certi certifications compared to any other real world asset coin. So there's three good real world asset projects that I think are worth holding. Rio is obviously one of them and Rio is the one that I hold. IXS also is on the list. IXS is a great project. And the last one is trade, Polytrade, right? These are like, if you're gonna hold any real world asset coins, there's obviously many other ones. This is just breaking into price discovery right now, right? Really bullish chart. It's up huge from October. Anyways, yeah, IXS, Polytrade, and Relio Rio. Um, you can't go wrong holding those assets. Let's just check the market cap. 134. Yeah, so this is now higher than Rio. Anyways, I think all these have like... So if Rio 10X is, is at $27, if it... 40X is... It's at $54. Both of those are possible from this point. And something like Rio, we're already up like 20X or something. So if it does another 20X from here, we'll have a 400X. Anyways, yeah, uh, Crypto Karma, IXS is a good one. IXS, Rio, and Trade. IXS, Rio, and Trade are the ones that are the lowest risk and good reward potential as well. Matt Wilcox says, hi, Connor. Good to catch a live stream. Do you have total market cap figure in mind for the tarp top of this cycle? For sure I do, Matt. Go over that. Uh, here we go. So... In terms of the total, my expectation here, this has been on my chart for a long time, but yeah, six to 10 trillion on the total. And it's really not that far away now, right? Once we get to that three trillion previous top, we're only 100% move away. So yeah, six to, ten, six to 10 trillion for the total market cap. GFAL the sleeper. Listen, GFAL is decent. It's definitely not the best option. It's definitely not the worst option. So on your daily, on your daily time frame, it looks. It looks like it better pump soon or else it's going to have it, it probably like, like I've been saying, gaming is going to pump. And if you look at this chart. You have this period of rapid expansion to the upside going up to five cents. 
Where do you pull back to right to the daily 200 EMA? Let's just do a little case study live on stream. So you see GFAL right at the 200 daily EMA. Let's see how many other gaming coins have done the same exact thing. Uh, Karat, Alaska Gold Rush. Yeah, basically the same exact thing. Right, you see this rapid expansion to the upside. Consolidate for months right back to the daily 200 EMA. In a bull market, this usually marks the, the bottom, right? The bottom of the retracement or close to it. Of course, it can go below it like here, but you typically the area, the price levels that the daily 200 EMA is in on a big pullback in a bull market, you know, that's where you want to be a buyer. So anyways, Alaska Gold Rush right there. Creo hasn't caught up with it yet. Uh, Sleepless AI is too new to have that on its chart. JHX is too new. Ace is a buy. Fusionist Ace, I think it's going to do really well. Doesn't have it. Epic, right back to your daily 200 EMA. Period of rapid expansion. It goes 10x in October. Pulls back right to the daily 200 EMA. Uh, what else? Gold Fever, same thing. Plays at, same thing. Three Bull, same thing. Miria, hasn't hit it yet. Miria has not hit it yet. Uh, Sinverse, same thing. Lit, same thing. Anyways, yeah, so GFAL, same thing. Hello, same thing, but it's weak. Something's happening with Hello. I don't know what's going on. Anybody know what's going on with Hello Labs and why it's underperforming? Never bought this, but um, something something's going on right now. The fact that it's break, there's a lot of selling. That's what I want to say. c is very strong. Domi, 200 EMA pullback. You guys see a common recurring theme here on where you want to be a buyer in a bull market and how easy it is to recognize this stuff, right? It's super, super simple stuff. It's not rocket science in any way, shape or form. But again, when the opportunity presents itself, will you take action and will you take action with enough kind of meaningful size where it will actually make a difference? Or will you put $50 in and think it's going to go a thousand X and make you like five mil? That won't happen. Right. Crypto is a game of position sizing and conviction, and that's it. So anyways, yeah, GFAL is a sleeper pick, and it's just like every other gaming project right now. It had a period of rapid expansion in October, November, multi-month pullback to the daily 200 EMA. In a bull market, this is typically going to act as some kind of bottom, and you want to see it move from here. Uh, so that's gaming again. I know we already talked about gaming, but there it is another rundown on how things are going. Shout out to Sniff, Sniff in the live chat, another crypto empire OG that deserves recognition. We appreciate